This moment has finally arrived. The moment we kill this torture dweller. I didn't think we could do it. Whew, now our village is not in danger and we can sleep peacefully in our homes. Yes, JJ, it's just awesome. But let's not forget that catching this dweller was not as easy as we would like, especially since this monster almost ate a couple of villagers in the village. But now we can hang his head as a trophy. I think we'll leave that to the guys who are doing this. I'm afraid we might screw up and then we'll lose our only trophy of the village. Let's go home and finally have a good rest after such a hard day. JJ, we can't do this. Another dweller's come here who wants to eat us. Let's run home soon. He's running right behind us. JJ, I don't want to die. Run faster. The house should be safe. He won't be able to get inside the house, will he? Can't it? We hope so. Phew, we barely made it. I already thought that this idiot would catch us and eat us. The horror. JJ, it seems to be evening outside. It's so good that this monster couldn't get to us. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Did you hear that? Did someone ring the doorbell? Who could it be at such a time? Let's see who it is soon. Maybe it's a delivery? Although we didn't order anything, did we? It's strange that there's no one here. Yes, JJ. Maybe it's those dumb pranksters who found their victims to prank. Huh? What the? Are you kidding us? Hey, you stupid pranksters. Do you even know who lives here? We're going to kill you now! Let's wait for them to ring the doorbell again and immediately go out- ah! JJ, this torture dweller is at our house! What a nightmare! Hurry up and hide! What do you want here? Don't kill me! No! Get away from me, you stupid monster! I didn't do anything wrong to you! You're so disgusting! Oh! What was that? Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. It's just disgusting. That jerk killed my friend. What am I supposed to do now? I can't kill him now. He's four times bigger than me. Even if I want to, I can only bite his leg and that's it. I need to follow him and find out why he killed him. Maybe he wants to do something with his body or feed it to someone. For example, that huge torturer. He's not. Not that. If he really does it, it's a real nightmare in reality. God, what an idiot he is. He really wants to revive this huge monster. Why? Are you his friend or something? It seems that he is not the last monster that we need to kill. But how do we do it? If we barely killed this huge monster, then I probably won't be able to do it alone. I need to revive Mikey first. These monsters really don't know that I'm here yet. It's good. I need to take advantage of this. What an abomination. A mistake of nature. You will regret what you did and what you even wanted to do. I will not let you kill our villagers so easily and destroy our village. It seems that somewhere in my chest at home, there should be at least some weapons that I can use. After all, if I go to their lair, they will most likely kill me in an instant. And with these guns, at least I can kill someone. Great! I'm not afraid of these idiots. I need to get Mikey out and then revive. It seems that there must be a way. It's time for me to hit the road. There is no time at all. These monsters don't know anything about what I want to do. They have no idea what I want. Find their Legos because there are traces of blood everywhere. Oh my god, it seems to be traces of blood from Mikey and this is his hand? Poor Mikey. Come here quickly, you idiot! You think I'm going to let you get away so easily? What an idiot! Great! Now, they have one less monster. And it will be easier for me to get into their lair. I'm so sorry for Mikey. But I feel even more sorry for these torturers. Because as soon as I take it and go back, these monsters are definitely over. None of them will survive the upcoming battle that we will arrange very soon. I think this is the entrance to their lair. I don't know how they fit into this low place, but I think it's their style. I hope that you are ready for the fact that you will die soon. Hey, you three idiots. Why are you so arrogant? Do you think you can kill me just because you could barely get Mikey? Weaklings! Hmm? And what about this huge dweller? It seems that he is asleep. I'm lucky. Now I need to slowly get him out of this cage. More precisely, what is left of it? It will be perfect if no one notices it. Hey, Mikey, even if you can't hear me, but I only came here to save your life. That's all. Now we need to get back to the village before it's too late. I hope you don't wake up, Dweller. Hmm. Oh, no. I think it's time for me to run away from here even faster than before. Mikey, what an idiot you are. Why couldn't you just survive? 
Now I'm risking my life to save you. You are very lucky to have a friend, because I'm taking you to the village. After all, I have come up with a way to save you and resurrect you, and you're just lying dead. What an idiot. How heavy you are. I can't believe it. You don't seem to eat that much. You need to lose weight already. <coughs> this is the way a witch advised me. I also put your hand there, so you should recover completely. This saw will now erase all the negative effects due to these torturers. And when it's all gone, I'll throw these potions at you. They will connect all your body parts and bring you back to life. I can't believe it's all done so easily. But I spent a lot of time learning all this and all for one purpose. Mikey, it's time for you to come back to life. You've been sleeping too long and I don't like it at all. Huh? JJ? You saved me! But how do you do it? I can't believe my eyes! I was dead! How am I alive again? What have you done to me? What kind of spell is this? Or have I become a zombie? Whoa. Ah! You're not a zombie yet! But if you don't pull yourself together and take these guns in your hands, then soon you can become one. Hurry up! Take this from the chest and shoot this idiot before he destroys our village! Hey! You're a huge torture dweller! You can't survive, and you can't beat us. E JJ, why is it so big? And why did he come back again? He just died recently. But the most important thing is that at least now we know a way to kill him. Shoot him in the legs so he can't walk properly. We'll break his legs, and then we can finish him off very simply. That's right. So you and I have nothing to fear. Shoot him quickly. He's too close to our village. Let's not let him break them and our house. <laughs> hey! hey. We finally killed him! Pooh! For the second time, he's definitely dead now! And no one in the world can revive it or save it! We're lucky to be together again! To be more precise, thank you for saving me! Mm-hmm. Huh? What are you? What happened to you, Mikey? Hey, how did you become this torturer? Oh no, you deceived me! Are you kidding me? You shouldn't have done that! You're just an idiot if you think you can beat me after what you've done! Turn Mikey into a monster and attack me. You shouldn't have done that. Because now, I won't feel sorry for you. And stop running after me. You can't beat me anyway, you stupid monster. Now don't even think about coming back to our village anymore. Because now, I'm standing guard over this village. But it's a pity that Mikey is dead now. ...to swim or fish here for sure. And you will also receive a great surprise from me. Heh <laughs> heh it remains only to wait for this potion to work. And while this is being activated, I will have time to get as far away from here as possible, so that no one even tries to look for me. Hello everyone, I'm with you again. I'm your favourite journalist, Alice, and today I came to you to tell you the urgent and terrible news that happened to our river last night. As you can see, our entire river has been poisoned and infected, so I sincerely ask you to stop swimming or fishing in this place. The experts told me that anyone who tries to enter the water will be poisoned instantly. We don't know how long this will last. Scientists are already looking for a way to cure this river. Please wait for it. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. Thank you for being with me while I was- Mikey! I'm tired of watching this movie! Don't you think that watching this movie for the tenth time is too much? Let's go to the vegetable garden and collect all the crops that have grown there. I think this will be the best option for us now. Mm-hmm! I just want to eat! We can make some kind of cake! I even know exactly what we need! Do you think we can catch fish today? To roast it! Mm -hmm. huh? Hi, JJ and Mikey. I heard that you want to fish. Don't even think about doing that. Have you completely forgotten? Haven't you watched the news? Then follow me to the river, and you will see everything with your own eyes. What are you talking about? Why shouldn't we fish? What else should we do? You tell me we can't swim there yet. Mm -hmm. You're thinking right. This river has been poisoned. Now it's not that people are there, even fish can't survive. See for yourself. My job was to warn you. What a horror! Mikey! We're not in a dream right now, are we? Because I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. 
Who dared to poison this river? Look at these fish! The two of us could catch them and eat them! We won't even be able to swim! This is unbearably hot water! JJ, it seems from now on, we won't be able to fry and eat fish anymore. I think we should go home now and look at our supplies! Precisely! Maybe we even have some fish stocks left! I hope so! I really want to try at least one fish again! I want to too! We still need to make a couple of loaves of bread! Or we'll have to go to another village to get fish! Oh. disgusting you are where did you all come from i don't remember such monsters ever existed mikey do you have any idea where they might have come from because they look like villagers i don't think they came here from any dimension i think it's all because of some kind of mutation are you saying mutation then i think i know where they all came from do you remember our river they showed us today that this place was sent i think it's because of this place Let's go closer and take a look at this place again. What a horror! What happened here? I think that some people still went swimming in this place and because of this, such monsters appeared. It's so hot in here. What should we do now? without getting injured because of this water. Great. It's so good that these scooters were here. And this chest is just full of cool weapons. With this weapon, we can just kill all these monsters. So far, everything is not going badly. But we need to prepare properly for this fight. We don't know how many of these monsters will be there. So we need to get as many ammo for the weapon as possible. Then I think this should be enough for us. You're ready, aren't you? Then let's go. I'm so scared, but I'm also so excited I don't know what to do about it. But I want so badly to kill these monsters and the one who poisoned our river. I just want to do this unbearably. Mm-hmm. It was lucky that there was also gasoline here. Otherwise, we would not have been able to swim to these monsters in any way. Now prepare all the weapons we have, because there will be a huge army of these monsters in front of us, which we also need to finish off. Hello, monsters. Why are you so scared? Didn't you think that we would come to you to finish you all off? How naive are you if you thought that we would never come here to kill you all? Ha ha ha! What weaklings you are! I thought you would be much stronger! 
Look how many of them there are. And this river turns out to be so long. And whoever sent this place is probably just a complete idiot. But it doesn't matter yet. We need to kill them all before they decide to attack our village or someone else's village. Hey you! You're not going to think about attacking anyone anymore, are you? Although it doesn't matter, because you won't even live after us. JJ, this is not their whole army! Look over there! Do you see this huge monster? I can't believe that someone could become so huge because of radiation. But it seems that now we have to kill him too. How this monster scares me, and how strong it is most likely. Can you see him from here? So it's really huge! But before that, we still need to kill these monsters. How annoying they are! I can't believe that someone without brains could be so strong. Well, well, this is not a problem for us. That's their problem. And we will add bullets to their lives. JJ, it seems that this is it. We just need to solve another big problem that's right in front of us. JJ, we need to make one last push to kill him. I think he probably has very strong skin. You probably already become very tired. Yes, JJ. I would have fallen asleep for a few days now. Good. Then good night to you, family. I'll go to bed later, too. But in the meantime, I'll watch this movie. They just have to tell you what they did in the last episode. <laughs> Has it always been this dark at home? It's weird. And even stranger is who is calling me so late at night? Hello, who are you? What do you need from me, hmm? What a creepy voice you have. Thanks for the conversation, but I need to sleep. Am I really awake? It's all so creepy. How can I find out who called me? I'm unlikely to be able to sleep until I find out exactly who called me. Maybe I should have guessed. Mikey would have done it. He usually sleeps like the dead. Who else could call me? No one else. No one else has my number. Or did someone just decide to prank me like that? Then it's not funny at all. Okay, I'd better go to bed and not think about it. Huh? Freya and JJ Jr. Where have you gone? What happened here last night? I can't figure out where the traces of blood come from. I need to find out who did this. If I find out who it is, then that person is definitely dead. I'm not gonna play with him. Why do these footprints lead to Maki's house? I don't think he's the one who did it. Hey, Mikey, you're not sleeping, are you? Hmm? Are you kidding? Huh? JJ, what are you doing here? Something happened? Ah! Where have they gone? Why did Sarah and Mikey Jr. go somewhere? Hmm? Where did these traces of blood come from? JJ, do you know anything about this? I woke up too, and my family was gone. The tracks led to you, so I thought you did something. But it seems that we will have to look for them, and it seems that these traces of blood led us to the well. Do you think that this strange man will be waiting for us in this well? JJ, I just remembered something. Do you remember those surveillance cameras? Let's go see what's out there. With these records, we can go to the police and tell them about it. I'm sure they know exactly what to do with it. Mikey! Then you're a genius! It's so good that you decided to put up these surveillance cameras. Let's see who this idiot is who stole our families. Mm-hmm. Huh? JJ? It seems to me that this does not look like a person at all. It's some kind of monster for sure. So this monster just came into my house and took Sarah and Mikey Jr. away? It looks like it's not real at all. Look at this, how scary he is. Now I am absolutely sure that it was this monster who did it. We're lucky that we have the camera footage, otherwise the police would never have believed it. Mikey, then let's get these records out and go to the police station as soon as possible. JJ, 
Then what are we waiting for? Let's go quickly before it's too late. I'm afraid something might have happened to them. What if these monsters have already eaten them or worse? I'm so scared to think about it. I want the police to be able to deal with this. Don't worry, Mikey. I think they have the strength to do it. Otherwise, why are they still working? We need to write a statement, but let me do the talking. <laughs> All right. Hello, Officer Adam. We want to declare that some monster took our families and hid in a well. Here are the recordings from the cameras. Watch this. It seems to me that you are talking some kind of nonsense. Doesn't seem like it. Wait here a minute. I need to assemble a team. And now I'll tell you one thing. Wait here until someone comes to you and until then don't even think about going there. Well, whatever you say, see? They will definitely be able to figure it out. Yes, I get it. I'm still scared for my family. It smells awful in here. Even if you're a monster, you should clean your lair at least once a month. Otherwise, it's impossible to be here. Where are you, monster? I won't hurt you if you don't attack me. Although I see that you have already managed to collect a collection of people here, I think that after this I will not be able to forgive you so easily. I will have to arrest you. Don't be afraid. It won't hurt. JJ and Mikey's family? Where are you? Can you hear me? Oh, I think I can hear you. What happened here? Are you all right? I came to save you, but where is that monster? Who stole you? Do you hear me? If you keep quiet, I won't be able to help you guys. JJ and Mikey, are you here? Follow me urgently. We just lost the signal with Officer Adam. I suspect you need to see it with your own eyes because he went into that well to find your families. You said that there was a monster there and it seems that Officer Adam is no more. So you need to go there yourself. Well, I think we don't have a choice anyway. So we need to go home and get a weapon with armor. It's so good that these guys gave us all this. Without their help, we would never have gone there in our lives. I already feel that it won't be easy, but I am sure that we will be able to do it. I'm wearing armor and I need to get some ammo. I think if I take all this, it won't make me feel any worse. So I have to go there with Mikey before this monster goes anywhere or does anything to our families. Great, I think I'm fully ready for this now. I can't wait to see this monster. I'll kill him the second I see him because he shouldn't have taken our families at all. I hope Mikey is ready and I won't have to wait for him to get ready, hmm? JJ, did you like this armor too? I feel just incredibly strong. It seems to me that even if a grenade is thrown at me, I will stay alive. Now let's go to this well as soon as possible and show this monster that he made a huge mistake. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm hmm Hmm? <laughs> hmm? Mikey, do you see anything? I can hardly see anything from two feet away. But somehow it seems to me that we are not alone here. Do you smell that? JJ, have you seen this monster? Doesn't he seem to be here alone now? There are a lot more of them here than we thought. I hope that you took a lot of bullets because one weapon is definitely not enough for us to kill everyone who is here. Have you seen how big they are? I haven't seen anything like this in a very long time. I haven't seen anything like it either. I expected that there would only be one monster that we saw on the surveillance cameras, but now there's just an army of them here. I wasn't ready for this, but even if there were 100 of them here, I would still kill them all because they shouldn't even think about coming to our families. Mikey. This battle is going to be a very long one, so be prepared for it. I think I can hear Sarah and Mikey Jr. JJ, we've almost found them. We just need to finish off the remaining monsters here. Well, they just got out of my way. You won't be able to stop me even if you really want to. You don't have the strength for this. Phew, it seems that this is not all, but I need to reload my weapon. How many of you turned out to be here? I thought it would be less. Mikey, do you hear them? That's not all. How disgusting you are, but even when there were just a bunch of you here, you still couldn't even touch us. I not only hear them, I also see them. JJ, this is the last group of monsters. After that, we can finally see our families. We have enough strength to kill a couple more monsters. You monsters- Expensive. Therefore, we will be able to sell it all very profitably at auction. That's right. It's not for nothing that we spent a lot of money on this. Let me open our garage. We should wake up early tomorrow and make this door automatic because I'm tired of opening it every time and closing it too. And it's also time to sell at least a couple of cars from here. We already have nowhere to park. And you also took my place. All right, it's not a problem. I think that when we have time, we will deal with all this. Then I think we can be free for today and go to sleep at last. Mm -hmm. It's good that we ate on the way. Therefore, we don't have to cook in the evening but we can also eat in the morning at some restaurant. Although no, I've already lost my mind. 
I didn't know that we would spend so much effort on this tuning. Ah, I'll have to share this pizza with you so you can eat my pizza. I made it this morning. I think I've had enough of the hedgehog. Can we finally get some sleep? Mm -hmm. I'm so tired of eating and working all day. I think I'm going to sleep like a baby now. Mm -hmm. Good night to you. <sighs> Meanwhile, Mikey and I slept like children. This monster vapor appeared in our village tonight. The most terrible thing is that this monster decided to come into our house. If we only heard it, then most likely we would immediately wake up and be afraid of this monster. What's even worse is that this monster came into our room. I don't know why he did it, but most likely he wanted to kill us. But what scared me the most was that he didn't do anything. Most likely this monster just wanted to study us or come up with a plan. But it doesn't matter, because with us, nothing happened that night and we woke up well. And this monster ran away somewhere far away. A very strange monster. It is unclear why he came in, what he wanted and what he did at that time. JJ, I slept so well that day. I already know what we're going to do on this day. Let's go to the couch soon. Let's eat pizza and watch TV. Today, there will be new episodes of our series. All right, mm-hmm. Huh? What is that? What kind of nightmare is this? Why are pig corpses on the news? What's going on anyway? Are you sure this isn't our show? Is it normal for it to be shown like this? Mikey, it seems that we will have to go there soon and see it all with our own eyes, because it's very bad. JJ, look at his house. What is that? Look how many traces of blood there are. What happened there anyway? Who could have done this? I don't know anyone in our village who could do such a thing. Do you have any idea who it might be? In the meantime, I will prepare a helicopter so that we can fly there right now. Great! Then let's go right now. We need to think about what and who it could be. I don't even have any ideas. If we look around this room properly, maybe we can figure something out. Even on TV, it was clear that there was a lot of evidence that remained from that killer. I also noticed that there were too many clues left. I think we can definitely find this killer if we think about it properly. Although it may be that it's not even a person. Because have you ever seen any killer kill pigs for nothing? And yet there's still so much evidence? Speaking of which, you're really telling the truth. Because I don't think any human would have thought of such a thing. Maybe it's really some kind of monster. We'll have to search the archives later to find out who it might be. I think if we gather enough evidence, we can tell Officer Adam and Sarah about it. Then we can get this case and do it. Look, JJ! How many people and policemen are there? Look at these pigs! How can an ordinary person have such swords? I know for sure that everything is very expensive. And if I were a murderer, I probably wouldn't have left it all here. JJ, let's try to write down all these clues in a notebook. Good! Then let's think about it properly. Look, we just have a brush to celebrate all this. Let's start with these bloodstains. If you sweep it up properly, then these traces of blood do not look like human ones. It's probably someone else's blood. And then it turns out that this is the number one clue. What else could be here? JJ! And this knife? If it had been done by a human, then most likely there would have been traces of blood on this knife. But it's all clean as if no one has used it. This will be evidence number two. I agree. If the knife is clean, then the person definitely did not pick it up. Maybe it's the knife of this man who wanted to protect himself. Let's keep looking. That's a huge trail of blood. It may be that when this man was killed, this blood spilled from this man. I agree. Evidence number three. And what conclusion can we come to after all this investigation? I think that should be enough for us to go to Officer Adam and tell him about it. I am sure that he will definitely believe in our words and allow us to take this matter into our hands. Don't you think so? I think the same thing. You're great for thinking of that too. If it wasn't for you, I would never have even thought about it in my life. I hope that Officer Adam will believe in our words. You took a picture of all this, didn't you? We need to show it to him. Officer Adam said, that's enough for us to get this case and go there ourselves. We can definitely do it. Then why are we waiting for JJ? Let's go quickly before it's too late. I want to see who did it. I hope we kill him ourselves. 
Mm-hmm. While we were going to look for this monster, it turned out that this monster had already managed to kill everyone on the farm in our village. There's also a bunch of white rats that ate it all here. It was a terrible picture that we weren't ready for. When we saw this, we were definitely shocked by this picture. And this vapor monster has become even bigger. Mikey! This is our tower, if anything! There lies our weapon that we can use to kill this monster! So don't worry! We need to attack him before he expects it! If we can kill him, we'll get a huge reward! Ooh, JJ! Then I think that we will definitely be able to do it! Look at this monster! Why is it so huge? I can't believe it's gotten so big! Then we need to finish him off before he gets even bigger! If we don't kill him now, it will definitely be terrible for us! He seems to be completely distraught. He's so weird in life. I think this monster's name is Vapor. I didn't think he would be so disgusting. And there are so many rats in this farm. Where did they even come from here? I think they all ended up there because this monster is calling them. What a terrible picture it is. Let's kill him as soon as possible. I want to forget this all as an old dream as soon as possible. JJ, while he still can't see us, let's start shooting at him. I wouldn't want him to notice us while we're standing in this place. What kind of idiot are you if you really thought you could kill everyone in our village so easily and escape from there? We came here to stop you. Therefore, you don't have to worry. But today you will definitely die and be left without food. Come closer to him, because it seems he was scared of our shots and thought he could run away from us. But he won't be able to do even that. Am I right, Mikey? Of course I'm right. Hey, you monster, is your name Vapor? I'm glad you're gonna die soon. Oh, we'll get a huge reward for you. Your head will hang in my house like a trophy. I also want this to be our trophy at our job. We will receive as much respect as we have never